Uh, as you know that yesterday was absent, so I am going to re-explain chapter 4, uh, chapter, uh, sorry, chapter 24 in uh, novel, The Great Escape, The Great Escape. Who can remind me what happened in chapter 23? Uh, yes, Omar Mustafa. Omar, can you answer to me? Yes, Mr. Yes, can you remind me of what happened in chapter 23? Uh, no, I can't remember. Can I remind you? As you said, that Charles Darnay has been arrested and put in the prison, yes? Yes. And Dr. Manet has a paper, this paper that was found in the in the hall yes, between the walls yes yes yes, uh, yes. have you yes. remembered huh so yeah, what yeah. happened after that uh, uh someone saw the paper and uh, went to uh, dr manet himself uh, this paper for is that uh, let that let setting carton to escape from or to pass from uh, london to paris yes Yes. Yes, I'm talking about the part that Charles Zerny, as we said, that he put in the prison, and the jury decided that Charles Zerny must be what? Must be put under the gallatin in 24 hours. Do you remember? Hmm? Yes. Yes, okay. So let's read this part together, uh, Omar. You can see the slides. Yes. Okay, can you read the first point? Main points. After listening to the reading of the doctor's paper and hearing the shouts of the crowd, Charles had no hope alone in his prison. He knew that no personal influence could save him. He knew yeah. that he must die, not for any crime of his own, but for all the crimes of his aristocratic family and others. Yes, as we remember together that Charles Rene was arrested this time because he was accused by the reporters and Dr. Another person that was Dr. Manet. Without any crime, his only crime that he is related to the aristocratic family, as remembered uh, the barkeep and his father, his uncle. Okay? So as we said, at this time he will uh, put under the gallatin, under the gallatin. Uh, for no for no reason for no crime okay what is summer in this chapter we know also that their name wrote three different letters can you read the summer yes mm. can you read this the wrote three different letters the mm. first letter was on his uh, was to his wife lucy to tell her what he never knew that her father was in prison and he told her father about his real name, Evermond. Yeah. But her father asked him not to tell her what is what, what is it was. So the first letter, him. yes, the first letter, the first letter that Charles Darnay wrote, it was for his wife. To tell her that he never knew that her father was in prison since about how many years? Huh? More than eighteen years. Yes, do you remember? All of you remember what I say? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And he told her father about his real name. What is real name? Evermore. That is related to the royal family. And her father asked him not to tell Lucy about this thing. Okay. The second letter that was written for or to whom? To Dr. Manet. Why? To ask him to take care of Lucy and his child. And the last letter that he wrote, or the third letter that he wrote, was to Mr. Lurie, also like to thank him for his lasting friend. Lasting means continue friendship. Okay? So I'm going to read this, read this part, the second letter and the last letter again. The second letter that Darnay wrote to Dr. Manet, uh, he asked him to take care of his wife and child. The last letter 
the Ney wrote was to Mr. Rory to thank him for resisting friendship. Yeah. So how many letters that Charles Darnay wrote? You can tell me. Three. Uh, not not you, Omar. I want another. I want another one. So you can select Muhammad Tariq. Yes, Muhammad Tariq. Yes, Mister. Yes. How many letters that uh, Charles Darnay wrote? Three. The first letter to whom? To Lucy. Why? To, to tell her about the wrongs that his family did and to ask for her forgiveness. Yes, and the second one, thanks so much, Muhammad Tariq. The second one, uh, Omar Mustafa. Huh? Second letter. It's it was for the, it was for Mr. Lori to thank him for discussing friendship. For, for Dr. Manet at first, second one for Dr. Dr. Manet. Manet. Huh? Why? To thank him for the Justin friendship. To ask him to take care of, of to take care of his wife and, and child. Yes. So he and thanked the, who and to, the, third, uh, the third one to Mr. Lori. Why? To thank oh, him. Yes, Mr. Lori. Uh, to thank him for what? To thank for him for the Justin friendship. Yes, for his lasting friendship. Well, let's complete reading with uh, Mustafa. Yes, Mister. Yes, yes. Sydney, Sydney Carton went to Charles Darnay in his prison to save him. He asked him to put he on his coat, and Darnay put on uh, of his. Yes. So he make replacement for the clothes. They change the clothes together to help him for escaping from the prison. But what was Darnay's reaction at first? Can you complete? Darnay was like a child in Sydney's hand. Sydney has the de determination, the, uh, the will. Charles was confused and hardly knew if he was asleep or awake. Yeah. So, complete also what Ca happened. Carton, Carton, asked, uh, Carton asked Darnay, uh, uh, and at the same time, Carton was holding in his hand as Darnay so, was speaking. Carton, Carton asked Darnay to write, and at the same time, what happened? Carton was holding what? Huh? Something Darnay's piece, hand. Yes, yeah, what, what was in his hand? Something it was a piece of cloth. Oh, a piece oh. of cloth. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, that oh, will let go. him. Yeah. That, that will let him sleep. Okay, as we see together in the video, as Darnay was speaking, what happened? Complete, Mustafa. Uh, Carton moved his hand slowly and softly down to the writer's face. He means by the writer's name, mm -hmm. Charles Darnay. Okay. Charles Darnay. So that will see together in the video. So again, as we stop reading together, we said that Sidney Carton went to Charles Darnay in his prison as he wanted to apply uh, his plan to save him from the prison. He asked him to put uh, on his coat and Darnay put on off his, means that they would change their clothes together. Uh, Darnay at this time was like a child in Sidney's hand. This is uh, a similarity. Okay. Sydney, Sydney has the determination. <clears throat> Sydney has the determination that, that well, Charles, uh, Charles was confused and uh, hardly knew if he was asleep or awake. He has just uh, imagine, imagine that it, that it, like uh, in a dream. He can believe what happened for himself. He had to ask him to write something in a paper. Why? To make him what? To make him busy. And let's see what he will do after that. At the same time, when Charlie Darnay start to write, what happened? Carton has a piece of clothes in his hand and put it on his mouth. And this will make Charlie Darnay to sleep. And after that, they will be, they will change or get Charlie Darnay outside the prison and Carton. the Carton will be in a second time. Is this part clear for all of you? <clears throat> yes, Master. Okay. Yes, Master. Okay. What happened after that, Mustafa? Darnay dreamed that he was, uh, he was back in the house at Soho in London, free and happy. 
and Lucy was telling him that he had a bad dream and had never left her. Yeah. So at this time, journey outside the place where, as we said, back in the house at the, at which place? Sorry. So so where in London? Okay. Free and happy. And Lucy told him that he had had a bad dream and they had never left here. So they decided they, they applied the plan of sending Carton. So sending Carton were now at this time in the prison. Okay. Yes, and Charlie's journey outside carrying the name of Sydney Carter. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Let's yes. watch the video to understand more <clears throat> for this part. Stop sharing this part, then I'll show you the video. And before sharing the video, let me share the sound also with you. Okay, listen carefully, please. At the beginning, we'll see the part that the wind said new character went to Mr. Lori. Can you see the video in front of you? Yes, sir. Yes, we can see it. Let me make mute for all to be able to watch it well, okay? Doctor, we're leaving now. Come, let me help. Goodbye, Mr. Lorry. You're a kind and good man. I envy you, but I can't be like you. People on this earth, I'm the last one you expected to see. I pray to God, sir, that you are not a prisoner. No, I come here only on a request from your wife. But there's no time now to tell you why I bring it or what it means. Take off your coat. A coat? No questions. Can't you tell me at least what? No. If you have escape in mind, I can tell you that it's hopeless. You will only die with me. I do not ask you to escape. I make no such request. Here, change this waistcoat of yours for mine. Believe me, it's not going to work. The ribbon it can't be done. Take my coat. Hurry! Don't you know, every attempt to escape from this prison has failed. I implore you. Do not add your death to the bitterness of mine. Do I ask you to walk out that door? If I should ask that, then refuse. Now, sit down. I have something for you to write. Sit. Is your hand steady enough? I was just writing a last note to Lucy. Good. Now you will write what I dictate. Exactly as I speak. To whom? To no one. Right. Well, that's what he said. I may need you and Lebec shortly. Why? 
The visitor looks quite ill. That I do so is no subject for regret or grief. How do you think your hazard's so great? Not if you keep your part of the bargain. Take me to the coach. You? I, him. We are the same. I have merely exchanged my life. You must leave by the same gate we entered. Right. He's unconscious. Of course. You told me he might be weak, but... Didn't you notice? I was weak and faint when I arrived here, and I am fainter now that you bring me out. In fact, I am overcome. Now hurry, man! Guards! You swear not to betray me. I have come this far. I will not stop now. He is the fool. He should know better than to visit a prisoner if he can't bear up upon seeing him. Are you ready, Miss Pross? Yes. How is Dr. Manette? He's all right now. He understands what's happening. I think you'd better fetch them. Yes. We won't be moving very quickly, sir, if we all take this one coach. Hmm. What do you suggest? Me, Miss Pross. We'll hire another coach. Catch up with you later at the coast. Yes. Have you got your papers? We've got everything we'll need. They won't be wanting us anyway. Hmm. I think it's time we told them. No need. They'll find out for themselves. Where is Mr. Carton? In the coach. Come, Doctor. Dear God, do we have to leave now? I can't bear Please, it. Please, my dear, in the coach. Quick. Charles. Yes, it's Charles. He's all right. He's just drugged. If you please, Doctor, we must leave at once. There's no time to lose. Come on, quickly. Help the child, Jerry. So our chapter uh, 24 finished at this point. Do you have any question about this part? Uh, grade 8. No, I am, sir. Have you understood? Thank you. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, now let's read uh, this chapter together and highlight for the main points that we have in our book, okay? Okay. Let me share with you the textbook with you.
this is the part that we are required to highlight in our book. But we, during highlighting, we are asked some one by one to start reading, okay? I share it with you now. Sorry. Uh, so we can start with uh, Mu'min. Can you read? Mu'min. Okay, Eddie. Eddie, can you read? Yes, Mr. Okay, start. Yes, Mr. Uh, please, my dear son, during, the, during reading, highlight with me, okay? Start, uh, Eddie, chapter 24. Okay. Chapter 24, The Great Escape. Charles Darnay, alone in his prison, had no hope. After listening to the reading of the doctor's paper and hearing the shouts of the crowd, he knew that no personal influence could possibly save him. Uh, he knew that uh, he must uh, great it. Can you open your cam, please? If you don't mind. Okay, Eric, complete reading. He knew that he must die not for any crime of his own, but for all the crimes against millions of common people that members of his own family and of other aristocrats' families were guilty of. Eric. Aristocratic families were guilty. guilty. Yes, complete. Uh, but it was hard to die, hard to live again, and forever. The wife and child whom he had held in his arms after so long a separation, it was some comfort to remember that there was no shame in the end of that he must meet. No Many problem. others who had carried out no crime Eli, went along. Eli, yes. Focus when you read. He said here, there was no shame in the end. There is no of okay in the end that he must meet. Huh? Complete. Many, Many others who had carried out no crime went along the same road every day and followed it firmly to the end. So when he had become calm, he sat down to write his last letter to those he loved. He wrote to Lucy. Thanks so I much. never knew that your father was. Uh, Elin, thanks so much, my dear. We can select the Khalid Rashidi. Khalid? I don't know which one. Khalid Rashidi. Yes, Mr. Yes, Khalid. Oh. Yes. Complete reading. He wrote to Lucy what? Can you read? Yes, uh, he wrote to Lucy. I never knew that your father was in prison until you told me of it. I did not know that it was my own uncle. And my father had uh, Mr. wrongly. Khaled. Mr. Khaled, uh, can you open your cam, please? My no, uh, it won't work. Okay, complete. Okay. Really, uh, wronged him cruelly. I told your father my real name, Evermond, and he asked me not to tell you what it was. But he allowed the marriage. No doubt he thought the paper that the paper was hidden in the Bastille uh, was destroyed when the Bastille was taken, and perhaps he has forgotten it. Come for your father. Do not let him blame himself in any way. Forget your sorrow and give up your life to him and to take care of your child, of our child. And to the care of our child. Someday, huh, Kumni? Someday, in the happier world beyond death, we shall meet again. We shall all meet again. Yeah. He wrote another letter to the doctor himself, giving his wife and child into his care and urging him to look after them. Yes. This, this he thought, might prevent the doctor from losing his mind again. The last letter he wrote to Mr. Lorry, explaining all of his worldly affairs and thanking him for the lasting friendship he has never thought of Sidney Carton at all. His mind was so filled of of the others that he never gave him a single thought. Charles Darnell finished his letters before the light was put out. When the room became dark, he laid down and thought he might have that he had finished with the world. But the world, the bright world that he loved, came back to him in his troubled sleep. He dreamed so much, he was. That's enough for you. 
we can select another one and use here here yes yes complete reading he dreamed huh? he dreamed he was back in the house at Soho in London free and happy and Lucy was telling him that he had had a bad dream and had never left her. Mm -hmm. Then he lay awake for a while, then, then half awake and half asleep. And he long hours dragged so and, by, and, by. And the long hours. And, and the long hours, hours dragged slow by. Mm -hmm. Finally. Complete, finally, as the first light for mo of morning came and the shadows left, his mind, he released that he, he the realized, last day of his life. He, 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 realized, he realized that huh? he realized that the last the last day of his life had come. He and fifty one others would never see another moment. Thanks so much, Mary. Uh, we can select uh, uh, Omar Mustafa. <clears throat> Yes, Mr. Yes, complete reading. He knew how he would die, but he had never seen the machine that would put an end to his life. He began to think about it, what it would be like, which way his face would be turned, and uh, would be turned. And whether he would. And whether, he would... and whether he would be one of the first or one of the last. These and many other thoughts came into his mind as the, as the morning hours rolled slowly by. Thanks so much, my dear. Uh, Mazen Mustafa? Yes. Yes, complete reading. He walked up okay. and down. He walked up and down, and the clocks struck uh, the numbers that he would never hear again. Nine uh, gone forever. Nine gone forever. Ten uh, gone. Yes. yes forever. Ten gone forever. Eleven gone forever. His mind w was now at uh, peace. He slowly he repeated softly. the name. He, uh, he softly. Huh? He softly repeated the the names of his loved. What mean by okay? The names of his Mr. loved ones and the prayed for okay, them. Okay, ones uh, and and the prayed for, for them. Okay. Mesh, twelve gone for complete or no? Yes, yes. Huh? Twelve gone for uh, forever. We had been told that the last he, hour was three, but he, he had, no. Mister, he. May I forget? Okay. He. he huh? Okay, he had been told. He had been told that the last hour was three, but he knew that they would come for him so some time before then. Thanks so much, Jimizin. Thanks so much, Mary. We can select the Mustafa complete Mustafa. Since, huh? yes, Mister. Yes, complete reading. Since the cards. Huh? Where is it? Okay. Uh, since she decided that he had uh, only about two uh, more hours. No, no, Mister, Mister, Mister. Since the card, you can see. Since the card stopped. Since, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Mister. I read the second uh, line. Never mind, never mind. Since the cards took a long time to move heavily through the streets, he himself to strengthen he his decided, mind. No, he decided he, that he had. That he had only about two hour, uh, two more hours to wait, and set himself to strengthen his mind, so that later he might be able to strengthen the minds of the others on the journey through the streets. Through the streets, okay, complete calmly. Calmly, with his arm folded on his breast, he walked up and down. He heard the clock strike one without surprise. Thanking heaven for his peace of mind, 
He thought only one more hour to wait and turn to walk again. He stopped, heard footsteps outside his door. The key was put in the lock and turned. As the door was opened, a man a man said in a low voice, He has never seen me here. I have kept out of his way. Go in alone. I will wait. Uh, here, lose no time. Thanks so then much, the door. Is that enough? Welcome, so No worries. Can select the uh, Muhammad Tariq complete. Okay. Muhammad, uh, then the door was open. Then, uh, then the door was opened quickly and closed, and there before him, face to face, a bright smile on his lips. And one finger raised stood Sydney Carton. There was something so bright and strange about Sydney that for a moment Charles Charles thought that he was seeing a ghost. But here, as he sc spoke, and it was Carton's voice. The hand that took his his was really Carton. Of all the people on earth, you didn't expect me to see me here, did you? Said Carton. I could not believe it to be you. I can hardly believe it now. You are not a prisoner. He asked anxiously. No, by, no, by accident, I possess some power over one of the officers here. And by reason of that power, I stand before you. I come from here. Your wife did her name. Thanks so much, my dear. We can select another person. Uh, yes. Uh, Abdullah Tamim. Yes, Mr. Yes, Abdullah. The prisoner took his hand. The prisoner took his hand. Carton continued. I bring a most urgent request from her. She begs you as you love her to do exactly as I say. You are not to ask me questions. I have no time to answer them. You must just do as I say. She orders it. Take off those boots you are wearing. And put on this of mine. Yes. There was a chair against the wall of the cell behind the prisoner. Moving forward, Carton, with the speed of lighting, got him down in it and stood over him. With the now, speed of lightning, okay, and got him down on it and stood over him. Okay, complete now. Now put on this quick carton. There is no escape from this place. It was has it has it has, it has, has, been. Never, it has been. never been done. It is crazy to try to escape from here. Escape from here. Okay, complete Abdullah. Am I asking you to escape? Am I asking you to escape when I ask you to pass the door? Say it will uh, say. It is crazy. Yes, Abdullah, can you hear me? Okay, I think there's a problem in the internet, Mr. Abdullah. Uh, so we can uh, select Khalid Ahmed. Khalid. Yes, Mr. Yes, come here, Khalid. Start from, start from, am I asking you to escape? Am I asking you to escape? When I ask you to pass that door, say it is crazy and remain here of with that coat. Put in this coat. Mr. Of mine. Can you hear me? Yes, Abdullah. Let the uh, credit complete, then I give you the chance to complete, okay? Her name oh. was like a child yeah. in Sydney's hands. Sydney had the the determination, the will. Charles was confused and hardly knew whether he was asleep or awake. But Carton, mm. dear Carton, I don't understand. Mm. I don't want you to understand. This is this is your wife wants. This is what your wife what wants. Your wife wants. Mm. You must do as he, she says. It is her last request. Thanks so much, Khalid. Complete, Abdullah. You are? Okay, you are doing no good. You will only add your own death to mine. There is no escape. Have I asked you, my dear Darnay, to pass the door? When I asked that, refuse. 
there are pen and paper on the table it uh, is is your hand steady enough to write it was before yeah, before you came in steady